Today we are going to discuss about moving iron or MI instrument. In the last video, we discussed about PMMC and what are the errors in that instrument. Now we are going to discuss the instrument in which the moving iron is used for measuring the flow of current or voltage is known as moving iron instrument. It works on the principle that the iron place near the magnet attract towards it. The force of attraction depends on strength of the magnetic field. The magnetic field induced by the electromagnet whose strength depends on magnitude of current passes through it. What is the construction of moving iron instrument? The plate or vein of soft iron is used as a moving element of the instrument. The vein is so placed that it can freely move in the magnetic field of the stationary coil. That means a vein or plate of iron is used as a moving element in moving iron instrument. The vein is placed so that it can freely move in the magnetic field of the stationary coil. The MI instrument does not have permanent magnets. It has a one iron vein is moving and surrounding of that a coil will be there. The conductor makes the stationary coil and it is excited by the voltage or currents whose magnitude is to be measured. Moving iron instruments low, iron vein move out onto the then chuttu oka coil onto the manam a current to voltage measure chayla nukunna mo a current to voltage of coil ko apply jasta. Proportional to current, proportional to voltage, magnetic field produce a iron vein move chest on the. The moving iron instrument uses the stationary coil as an electromagnet. E stationary coil electromagnet laga act out on the. Manam yepadayate supply is thamo moving iron instruments ki. E stationary coil electromagnet laga act hai. Magnetic field produce a dumbbell moving iron vein. Spindle moves as a pointer moves. The electromagnetic is the temporary magnet whose magnetic field strength increases or decreases with the magnitude of current pass through it. What is the working of moving iron instrument? The moving iron instruments uses the stationary coil of copper or aluminum wire which acts as electromagnet. When an electric current passes through it, the strength of magnetic field induced by the electromagnet is directly proportional to current passed through it. The plates or vein of iron passes through the coil increases the inductance of stationary coil. The electromagnet attracts the iron vein. The vein passes through the coil tries to occupy the minimum reluctance path. This is the very important one the vein where it will go it occupies where the minimum reluctance is there the reluctance means it is the property of magnet which opposes the flow of electric current where the magnetic field maximum is there the, in that place the iron vein will be attracted the vein passes through coil experiences a force of repulsion caused by the electromagnet the repulsion force increases the strength of coil inductance. This happens because the inductance and the reluctances are inversely proportional to each other. What is the classification of moving iron instrument? The attraction and repulsion are the types of moving iron instruments. There are two types of moving iron instruments. One is attraction type, another one is repulsion type. In attraction type, the instrument in which the iron vein plate attracts the weaker field towards the stronger field, such type of instruments is known as attraction type instrument. Attraction type instruments lo iron plate, either moving iron plate on the plate attract towards the stronger field. Magnetic field is strong on the attract out. But attraction principle over the gabate attraction type instrument. The repulsion type lo two veins on day two veins repulsion principle over the road and low that is a repulsion type construction of attraction type instrument allowed on the 
what is the construction of attraction type moving iron instrument the stationary coil of the attraction type instrument is flat and has a narrow opening the moving element is the flat disc of iron core the current flows through the stationary coil produces the magnetic field which which attracts the iron coil this is the air damping chamber it is a moving iron piece iron plate or vane or soft iron plate we are using balancing weight is attached coil winding it is a fixed coil it acts as electromagnet and a pointer is attached to spindle oka pointer oka spindle attach chesintaru alage ee spindle air damping chamber dwara undi air friction damping moving iron instruments lo vadtaru controlling weight adjusting weight balancing weight ikkada spring dwara gani control weight ante what is this uh, balancing weight provide jese ila controlling weight ila provide jese controlling torque is provided by a weight gravity control and spring control two methods are there in this we are using gravity control due to the weight of uh, control weight the pointer opposes controlling torque is provided by control weight this is the diagram representation of moving iron instrument attraction type the iron vane tries to move where the minimum reluctance is there the opposite for reluctance is magnetic field flux maximum is where the maximum flux is there towards the, the iron vane deflects from the low magnetic field to high magnetic field that means high magnetic field means low low, low reluctance and the strength of deflection is directly proportional to magnitude of current flows through it in attraction type instrument use a spring which provided by controlling torque the deflection of the coil is reduced by the aluminum position which is attached to moving coil coming to repulsion type instrument the repulsion type instruments has two vanes or iron plates repulsion type instruments has two iron plates untai iron vanes gani two iron plates one is fixed another one is mobile ikkada endukante electromagnet laga coil act avutundi kada electromagnetic laga coil act ayinappudu rendu vanes oke chotu untai kabatti oke poles form aithai alante appudu same poles em avutai repel avutai similarly ikkada moving coil it is a coil fixed coil and two vanes unnai ఎప్పుడైతే ఎలక్ట్రోమ్యాగ్నెట్ మ్యాగ్నెట్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేస్తుందో ఫ్లక్స్ ఈ వేన్స్ టచ్ అవుతుంది సేమ్ ఫ్లక్స్ టచ్ అయినప్పుడు రెండు వేన్స్కి సేమ్ పోల్స్ క్రియేట్ అవుతాయి అప్పుడు రిపల్షన్ అవుతాయి ఎందుకంటే సేమ్ పోల్స్ రిపల్స్ అవుతాయి కాబట్టి ద వేన్స్ బికమ్ మ్యాగ్నైజ్ వేన్ ద కరెంట్ పాసెస్ త్రూ ద స్టేషనరీ కాయిల్ అండ్ ద ఫోర్స్ ఆఫ్ రిపల్షన్ అక్కడ పెట్టింది బికాస్ ఆఫ్ రిపల్సివ్ ఫోర్స్ ద మూవింగ్ కాయిల్ స్టార్ట్స్ మూవింగ్ అవే ఫ్రమ్ ద ఫిక్స్డ్ వేన్ ఫిక్స్డ్ వేన్ అలాగే ఫిక్స్డ్గా ఉంటుంది మూవింగ్ కాయిల్ ఫిక్స్డ్ వేన్ అలాగే ఉంటుంది మూవింగ్ మూవల్ వేన్ మూవింగ్ వేన్ మూవ్ అవుతుంది స్పిండిల్ మూవ్ అవుతుంది అలాగే పాయింట్ రాల్స్ ఫిక్స్డ్ ఇక్కడ ఒకటి ఒకటి కీ పాయింట్ ఏంటంటే ఒకటి ఫిక్స్డ్గా ఉండదు ఇంకొకటి మూవల్గా ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి ఐరన్ వేన్ ఎప్పుడైతే కాయిల్ ఎలక్ట్రోమ్యాగ్నెట్ లాగా యాక్ట్ అయ్యి మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ప్లస్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేస్తుంది సేమ్ ప్లస్ రెండు వేన్స్ టచ్ అవుతుంది కాబట్టి సేమ్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ పోల్స్ క్రియేట్ అవుతాయి సేమ్ మ్యాటిక్ పోల్స్ రిపేర్ ఇచ్చేదర్ కాబట్టి రిపల్షన్ పోల్స్ క్రియేట్ అవుతుంది పోల్స్ మధ్య అదే జస్ట్ రిపల్షన్ పోల్స్ ఫోర్స్ క్రియేట్స్ డిఫ్లెక్టింగ్ టాన్ what are the advantages of moving iron instrument as we told that there are so many advantages so many disadvantages are there moving iron instrument the following are the advantages of the moving iron instruments universal use what is the universal use universally we can use moving iron instrument is independent of direction of current and hence used for both ac and dc hence it is universal use do you know that universal motor it can be used for both ac and dc one video also we made in this channel universal motor the motor which is used for 
both AC and DC that is called universal motor. Universal motor similarly universal use moving an instrument so AC and DC both we can use. The friction errors are very less that is another advantage the friction errors are very less in the moving an instrument because their torque weight ratio is high the torque weight ratio is high because their current carrying part is stationary and the moving parts are lighter in weight that is the reason less friction error in the country current carrying part is stationary and moving parts are lighter weight cavity less friction errors cheapness another advantage is moving an instruments require less number of turns as compared to PMM's instrument Ikkada, permanent magnet water cavity like electromagnet water cavity coil cavity less number of turns under the coil ko. therefore it is cheaper robustness another one is advantages the instrument is robust because of their simple construction and also because their current carrying part is stationary Moving coil instruments lo current carrying part chi, rotating cavity, then construction difficult going to need, but the construction is robustness in case of moving air instruments. Some disadvantages are there moving air instrument. The following are the disadvantages of moving air instruments. One is accuracy. The scale of moving air instrument is not uniform. Why it is not uniform? From the deflecting torque equation, we can identify the deflecting torque is proportional to i square the current square hence it uh, obeys the square law hence the scale is non-uniform due to that non-uniform scale it, the accurate result is not possible errors some error second disadvantage is errors some serious errors occurs in the instrument because of hysteresis frequency and stray magnetic fields waveform error the moving an instrument reflect the torque is not directly proportional to square of current because of which waveform error occur in the instrument another disadvantage is the calibration of ac and dc are deferred because of effect of inductance of the meter let us discuss about uh, what is the deflecting torque equation torque equation of moving iron instrument here we are using one law of conservation of energy for a torque equation of moving iron instrument. Energy stored equal to change in energy plus mechanical work done. That is the law of conservation of energy. What is the law of conservation of energy is actually is what is that energy neither be created nor be destroyed. It will be altered or changed from one form of energy to another form. Energy stored equal to change in energy plus mechanical work done that is uh, an energy balance equation energy stored what is the inductance is there in case of moving air instrument because of coil what is the energy stored in moving air instrument is half l i square okay this equation remember at the time of starting what is the how to write how to represent what is the different torque equation means First, we have to go energy stored equal to change in energy plus mechanical work done. That is law of conservation of energy. After that, we go for derivation of deflecting torque of moving iron instrument. Okay, what is mechanical work done? Mechanical work done is the related to deflecting torque into some angle. Some angle of a pointer, how to move the pointer, the angle of deflection. Mechanical work done equal to td into d theta make it as e equation 1 mechanical work done equal to td dot d theta that equal to 1 now the emf generated you know that faraday's law e equal to n d phi by dt and inductance is given by l equal to n phi by i flux linkage to the current is known as inductance from that l i equal to n phi on differentiating with respect to t on both sides of this equation we will get d by dt of li equal to d by dt of n pi on differentiating this assuming that uv that equal to differentiation of uv equal to u dv by dt plus v du by dt similarly you are differentiating with this l di by dt plus i dl by dt equal to n d phi by dt 
this uh, differentiation is n and changing changing n is constant and uh, phi is flux is changing that means uh, d phi by dt multiplying the above equation with respect to i multiplying above equation with i on both sides what you will get li di by dt plus i square dl by dt equal to n d phi by dt into i that equal to li di by dt plus i square dl by dt equal to this is emf generated according to faraday's law e i that is e i is known as power after that we are replacing this is p dt and l i d i plus i square d l equal to p dt l i d i plus i square d l equal to differential work done p into dt means power into time gives energy that is dw make it as equation 2 energy at steady state is half l i square you know that energy stored in inductor is half l i square energy at transient state is for a small change in current what is the small change in energy that is energy at starts transient state is of l plus dl if current is changed a small inductance will be changed that is dl plus into i plus di whole square for small change in current for small change in inductance of l plus dl into i plus di whole square again coming to change in energy equal to energy in transient state minus energy in steady state now we are substituting this energy in transient state is change in when the energy is changing we are substituted here this one and energy at steady state is half l i square that is energy balance equation from that by solving this equation half we taken multiplied this and these terms we are getting half i square dl plus l i d i make it as equation 3 from that again energy stored equal to a change in energy plus mechanical work done energy stored equal to change in energy plus mechanical work done that is energy balance equation it is change in energy equal to what is the energy change initial energy minus final energy or final energy minus initial energy initially steady state and finally it is change in change in means energy in transient state you know that what is meant by change change in speed means final speed minus initial speed gives a change in speed similarly change in energy means energy in transient state minus steady state we are obtaining equation 3 energy stored equal to change in energy plus mechanical work done that equal to we are substituted energy stored is the energy stored is li di plus i square dl we are substituted equation 3 here energy stored change in energy equal to half i square dl plus We substitute which equation li di plus i square dl this is equation 2 we substituted here after that change in energy we substitute equation 3 and equation 1 starting with mechanical work done we substitute from that some terms are get cancelled li di get cancelled li di li di get cancelled from that i of i square dl equal to td i square dl minus half i square dl gives half i square dl equal to td into d theta from that half i square dl by d theta equal to td but in case of a spring controlling torque tc is proportional to theta tc equal to k theta td equal to tc at the equilibrium condition At a stable condition, Td equal to Tc. 
Therefore, half i square dl by d theta equal to k theta. From that deflection angle, theta equal to half i square by k dl by d theta. From that deflection, theta is proportional to i square dl by d theta, change in inductance. If you know the change in inductance, if you know the current, if you know the spring constant, then you can calculate deflection angle theta. This is the deflection angle theta of i square dl by d theta by k. The t, this is very important. What is the deflection torque equation also? Td equal to, what is deflection torque equation? Td equal to half i square dl by d theta. This is the deflection torque equation. It is also important. Td equal to half i square dl by d theta. And theta equal to, this is also important. If you know this and this formulas, you can do some problems. Let us dis let us discuss some numerical problems based on deflecting torque and controlling torque. A small problem based on moving air instrument, deflecting torque and deflection angle. The inductance of moving air instrument is given by L. L equal to 10 plus 5 theta minus theta square micro handles, where theta is the deflect deflection in radians from zero position the spring constant is k equal to 12 into 10 power minus 6 newton meter radian per radian estimates the deflection for a current of 5 amps this is the problem how to solve this the inductance is given by l equal to 10 plus 5 theta minus theta square micro henry's we have to calculate dl by d theta for this we know that already theta equal to half i square by k dl by d theta. From that theta equal to half i square, i is given as 5 amps divided by spring constant is given as 12 into 10 power minus 6 d by d theta of dl is given as dl by d theta we calculated. 10 plus 5 theta minus theta square. This is dl by d theta we are calculating for this. L we are substituted. Theta equal to we calculated all these values. Five constant is one. Five minus two theta micro micro Henry it is. Theta equal to if you calculate this value five point two zero eight three two into ten power minus six. Therefore, theta equal to one point six nine radian this is the angle of deflection if you want to convert this into angle decrease radian we can convert into degrees pi radian equal to pi radian is equal to 180 degrees similarly what is the one radian equal to we can convert by using radian to degree conversion.